Hello, uh, I'm going to uh, talk how you could boot uh, Linux on uh, the C64 Mini. And uh, I should go about it now. Uh, first I should start here. I have to move it over here to the screen here. And then... Uh, <coughs> I change here to downloads and C sixty four. Like this, and then the windows here. <coughs> and now uh, I am here in uh, this windows. Uh, directory and then we should uh, uh, close down this here so I just press here this shutting down it says okay now uh, we should start it here and I should uh, press here in a small uh, hole here on the underside here uh, <clears throat> there I should press a button and then while I press that button I should start this computer and then can release both buttons uh, because now uh, this has started here. Uh, for this to work, you also need a particular driver. And uh, that you have to install according to the instructions here. Uh, now we should boot it here. Like this. And then we should look here at this screen, what happens here. So there it started. Okay, now it shows it's basic here, but it's not really working here, just in a startup image. Because it starts soon here. So now it runs here. And uh, might be a bit difficult to see here, but uh, I should do my best here to show this. It's a traditional Commodore 64 colors here, also in Linux. And uh, <clears throat> not trying this before, but uh, it's uh, uname minus a. So that shows what version we have here. Uh, maybe this can be seen. Uh, three four thirty nine Linux and uh, it plays its song here it's uh, from uh, way of the exploding fist it was one of my favorite games but it's not me who has made this uh, uh, in 85 uh, it's not me that has made this program I'm just uh, a user of it and uh, actually today I got uh, this special binary that is for this particular screen because this has 50 hertz and uh, because I have the global model of uh, these C64 mini and that has 50 hertz the American version has uh, 60 hertz so now we run uh, Linux here and uh, we have many commands here 
we could see here what we have. Uh, and look into the bin. Uh, it was uh, okay. Okay. Uh, it was uh, have to just like this. Uh, now I uh, discovered here. I forgot something. I have to uh, use a command here that's called STTY, and then I have to set the columns. Uh, those are. 75 and rows or 45 for this uh, screen here uh, and then we could uh, reset of the terminal okay so now we can do this command again we just use arrow up commands here and then uh, it shows some commands here and we could uh, use uh, uh, less here if we want to now we can scroll down here and see uh, all commands here but uh, but there are more commands in uh, here quit then we have uh, there is one other thing called uh, user s bin look at those two so that's other commands and uh, there might be even more commands uh, this uses busy box for many commands so uh, it's not the ordinary GNU programs, but uh, Busybox is a multi-call binary that handles a lot of different commands. And that is to uh, say RAM, because it runs in RAM. So they have made one uh, combined uh, binary. Mm. And then... Uh, you have some programming language here, uh, awk, no, it didn't work, but it shows anyway how you use it. Uh, Often times you can uh, get some help here if you type like this. Uh, and then uh, we have one other programming language that's bash but uh, and ash too uh, it normally uses ash it's a almquist shell but then there's uh, bash uh, uh, it's called uh, born again shell and some karate <laughs> shouts here uh, Yes, and then you could uh, see here now, if I turn this now, here, uh, then there is uh, some commands here that you can mount uh, the internal file system of the C64 Mini. And then I should type ins. Uh, I've already started to type here. Ins mod. Insert module. Uh, this uses uh, American keyboard, but I have a Swedish keyboard here. So I have to press other keys and it says on the buttons. Uh, rather difficult. Hmm. It's a bit, my keyboard is not that good. Uh, it sometimes misses the keys. Okay, so here we load 
some NAND routine. And then we should mount here. Right, N is difficult here on this keyboard. Uh, so we mount it here. Uh, I typed all that. Uh, it could be also perhaps some. Uh, it probably is a keyboard that is erroneous zero. So now I mount dev nice nand b to mnt mount directory. And then I can uh, change to that. We run here as a root. So then uh, we have these here, and we could uh, use this uh, recursively here. Then you have seen everything here, but uh, one could uh, also use less for this if one want to see everything or more. So. But we should not go through that because it takes a long time. But you can look at all files here in the system. Uh, it was one file that I was interested in. That was the VKM files. And you can find these here. Uh, so we search from root now. And then uh, name. And then a pattern here. Uh, a virtual key map, I think it says it's uh, for. Uh, so there you find a lot of virtual key maps here. And those that are special for the uh, 64 are these here. Is V664 sim and different languages. And I could hack one of those, for instance, in Spanish and make that Swedish instead. But that would only affect when I run uh, basic and things like that, other programs inside uh, the emulator, the C64 uh, emulator that uses VICE 2.4. But it's a bit hacked. Uh, so you can change here on this file system if you want to. But I should make a backup first. I've not made a backup yet, but I shall do it soon. But I've not changed anything yet. Uh, so then, uh, uh, well, there were some programs that I wanted to show. Uh, because uh, I can do one thing more here. I can uh, change back here to root the file system. Then uh, uh, I should insert this uh, drive here, uh, flash drive. I have a Chile as a see here. I have a chili shaped uh, USB hub, and now uh, I should uh, mount that too. And then I could say D message to see it's uh, then. SDA and SDA1. So that means I should mount uh, dev SDA1 and then I can mount this to media because that's a free place where you can mount things. But you could also make your own mount points by make directory under some other point here, uh, MNT for instance.
but I tried this. It worked. Then I could do uh, CD media. Yeah, but that won't be like that. And then uh, we have here various programs here. And then uh, I had uh, something called Snake. Uh, I should say here uh, well I could try to run that I think I first look at it using uh, Nono Nono is an editor uh, snake So now uh, this editor works because I set columns and rows before, but uh, it doesn't work perfectly. Because when I scroll here, it uh, strange things happen. It's only the lower part here that is updated. It doesn't scroll normally. And that's very strange. And this has probably to do with some settings have not gone through everywhere. So now it looks like a complete mess here. So this was a bug here I wanted to demonstrate. But we have not changed anything, so we can just control X here. But then uh, this program uh, didn't work here. Uh, sometimes I write like this. Uh, because uh, uh, well, it's not the real bash. It's probably just ash. Anyway, I don't know exactly if, what it is here. Uh, now I might uh, Try to set the calls again here. Uh, well, anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, when you now you could use uh, you could show everything here, but I don't do that. But you could run ls uh, slash big r here, then you would see on both the file system and the Right. And another interesting thing is that you can mount uh, 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 Linux uh, formatted drives. Uh, that could be a bit difficult if you just have Windows otherwise. So uh, this computer is uh, useful for reading Linux file systems, for example. And now we should uh, do here a reboot here. We're going to tap reboot. And that means that we, since I don't hold this button in, the, this button under the sticker, uh, that means it will restart as the ordinary mood, normal mood of the C64. And not the other so called FEL mood. So now we're here. And then uh, news here in, uh, I think it's, uh, we shall see here. It's 1.2.0 Argent. And then I should back out of this. Uh, let's see here. Use delete there to back out. Uh, 
yes uh, i could just show this uh, again so we'll see it more how this is done so uh, move out here a bit and then uh, i take this here and i shut it off And then for the safety case, I move, remove this uh, flash drive here. Uh, it's so that uh, it doesn't run scripts from this because I have a script directory, which is not uh, really prepared yet. I'm not finished with it. And then I set it in here. Now it started. Uh, one thing here you can note that when you run in this uh, special mode that you use to load Linux, then uh, the LED is off. And then we run this uh, uh, boot here. Uh, meanwhile, we could look here uh, this snake game that I wanted to run. Uh, it was this here. Let's see if we can see it here. Uh, and this uh, works excellently in uh, real Linux, for instance, on Raspberry Pi, Raspbian, or Ubuntu also Raspberry Pi but it doesn't work here because we don't have the real uh, bash but maybe one could uh, rewrite it so that it works with this uh, ash or this special bash they have but it is and then there was an another program here uh, which is written in Aveco and that's uh, Wolferstein uh, and I have it here in uh, uh, WSL it's uh, Microsoft's uh, version so I run it Aveco minus F Avecaster dot Aveco then we see it here and then you can uh, navigate here using VASD and uh, some other keys. I use it on this keyboard here. And then you can turn here. And then you're supposed to find an elevator. But it's difficult to find. But, uh, well, anyway. So you move around here. In this uh, uh, well labyrinth, you can also fire here. I think uh, uh, you can shoot, but unfortunately, I could not get that to work here in this uh, version of Linux because it doesn't also have a GNU Avico, it has some other perhaps simpler busybox orc. This language RWK is also called Orc, but it's a uh, uh, name from the programmers that developed it. Uh, I think it was Ahu uh, Weinberg or Weinberger or Kernigan that also invented the C programming languages. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so. Um, 
I guess this is it for me now. So I reboot here. Uh, so it's easy to switch between uh, this uh, Linux and uh, the other. But you uh, need a real computer, like a PC, or some time in the future maybe only a Raspberry Pi in order to transfer Linux to the C64 Mini. Because uh, it might be possible to hack in otherwise, but then you need to have the root password uh, for the built-in, and no one has guessed that yet. It's probably difficult to find out. But there might be a way that you do not need another computer to load Linux from, because it already has Linux on, really. Okay. Uh, so this will be the hour for me, I think. Uh, so there is an article here in uh, the C64 community dot online. I started there. And then uh, there is this driver is here on the last page that I use for the screen. Oh, we missed filming that correct thing here. Uh, so uh, here on the last page. Uh, here. Or some. Uh, so the drivers is here, script bin. So you have to sh change that, which is the system comes with now to this. If you have this. Uh, problem with 50 hertz screens and uh, that cannot switch uh, moods easily. Okay, yeah, so this is all for now. Bye!